welcome back we are in lecture number 23 and we are discussing um, the numerical integration the formula for computing integrals for the functions f which are defined on closed interval ab and we are interested in finding the definite integrals a to b fx dx and we discussed the need for such integrals in our last lecture we also discussed some of the basic methods for computing these and uh, we observed that both the trapezoidal and simpson's rules so these are the two rules that we have seen up to now and they give correct answer whenever your function is a constant function this is something that we have already observed and uh, you may wonder what the correct answers would be up to what level for various uh, uh, integration rules the simpson's rule was exact for even for x f of x equal to x square so there are these uh, various x power k to which some rules will be exact and we want to make it precise we call the degree of accuracy or the degree of precision of a quadrature formula to be the largest positive integer n such that the formula is exact for x power k where k goes from 0 1 to up to n for all of them it is the largest such one so you know if you wanted to compute the degree of precision or degree of accuracy for such a formula you will have to show that it is exact for those ones and it's not exact for n plus 1 so that it will be the largest n for which the formula is correct this is what is called the degree of accuracy and uh, it's an easy exercise to verify that the degrees of accuracy for the trapezoidal and the simpson's rules are 1 and 3 respectively so this is something that should be easy just by looking at the error formula and then it will just come so these are some of the easy things now we go to some more general formulae so uh, these two rules that we have seen until now the trapezoidal rule and simpson's rules these are examples of a class of methods there is a huge set of methods which are called newton coates formulae so coates was a, a contemporary of newton and unfortunately he did not live long apparently newton has said this about coates that if coates had lived longer then we would have known something so newton rated coates very highly and uh, these are the formulae which go by the names of both of those newton and coates and what uh, these formulae are of two types there is a closed for newton coates formula and an open newton coates formula so what they do is that the n plus 1 point closed newton coates formula will use nodes from x0 x1 up to xn where the xi are defined to be x0 plus ih so these are equally spaced nodes but your x0 is a xn is b so you are starting with a you are ending at b and then you are taking equally spaced n plus 1 nodes in all so you are going to take n sub intervals and therefore h has to be b minus a divided by n this is what is n plus 1 point closed newton coates formula and it is called closed because it uses both the endpoints of the interval ab they are used as nodes that's the reason it is called closed the formula will take the form integral a to b fx dx to be summation ai f xi where ai are simply the integrals of the lagrange polynomials li from a to b x dx so this is what uh, Uh, we have the formula closed formula is given in this form there is an error of course so the error depends on whether your n is even or uh, n is odd so suppose ai fi x is your n plus 1 point closed newton coates formula then there is a xi in the open ab so xi is strictly between a and b <coughs> and the formula then says that the integral is summation ai fi plus the error term so the error term is interesting error term has an integral 0 to n t square into t minus 1 into t minus 2 all the way up to t minus n dt that multiplied by h power n plus 3 so if your h is very small that is good 
and the n plus 2th derivative. So this is something which is interesting. You are using n plus 1 points and you are getting n plus 2th derivative xi divided by n plus 2 factorial. This is when n is even. So when your n is even, you are going to get the n plus 2th derivative. Although you are going to use only n plus 1 points, you will get n plus 2th derivative. And of course, we will assume that our f is n plus 2 times continuously differentiable. So when n is even, this is the formula. And when, is, when n is odd, then we have that integral a to b fx dx is summation ai fi h power n plus 2. Now it is no more n plus 3. The derivative of the function is also the n plus 1th derivative upon n plus 1 factorial. And then your integral is also 0 to n t, t minus 1 up to t minus n dt. So we observe that when n is even, the degree of precision is n plus 1. You are looking at the n plus 2th derivative. And therefore, whenever you are looking at x power k, where k is going from 0 to n plus 1, this derivative is 0 at every point, And therefore, you are going to get only the uh, 0 error term. Whereas for odd um, n, you will have that the n plus 1th derivative is not 0 for x power n plus 1. That will be a constant term. and so the degree of precision is n. That is natural, you are using n plus 1 nodes. And so your degree of precision in the odd uh, case is n because your f of n plus 1 th derivative is uh, taken. But for n even, you are going to get a higher degree of precision. So some of the initial Newton codes formula read uh, of course, the n plus 1 is trapezoidal rule, which we know very well. h by 2, fx0 plus fx1 minus h cube by 12, double derivative at xi. Simpson's one-third rule, which is uh, fx0 plus 4x of x1 plus fx2 into h by 3, minus you have h power 5, the fourth derivative at xi. Um, note that you have gone from trapezoidal to Simpson's n equal to 1 and n equal to 2. But n equal to 1 gives you the error to be double derivative. Whereas n equal to 2 is it's giving you fourth derivative. Because for n even, we have a better error. The n equal to 3 Simpson's 3th rule. This is also the error is given in terms of fourth derivative only. And it is f of x0 plus 3fx1 plus 3fx2 plus fx3 into 3h by 8 minus 3h power 5 upon 80, the fourth derivative. And once again, for n equal to 4, you are getting a higher derivative f, sixth derivative of f. And then there is this whole formula with the coefficient 7, 32, 12, 32, 7. So these are the closed Newton codes formulae. Um, this is the picture how you would be computing this uh, formula. So you have x0, which is a, then x1, then x2. Look, these are equally spaced all the way up to x n minus 1. And finally, you have xn equal to b. And the blue graph here uh, shows you the um, Lagrange polynomial, the polynomial inter uh, interpolating your function on those n plus 1 nodes. And the black one is uh, your, uh, uh, okay, so the black one is the polynomial and the blue one is the function and uh, what you should be looking at, I think they have a mis made a mistake here. So the blue one is the uh, line that we should be looking at. So blue one has to be uh, equal to the interpolating polynomial and the black one has to be the graph of the function. So we are looking at area, which is obtained by summation ai pi x. That is simply the uh, blue area that we are looking at. There is also uh, open Newton codes formula. So we have seen that closed one means that the endpoints are taken as nodes. But in the open one, now they should not be taken. So they do not include the endpoints as nodes. And what happens is that the nodes are still equally uh, spaced. You are starting from x0, you are going up to xn, but your x1, x0 is a plus h. 
So instead of starting with x0 equal to a, we start with x0 equal to a plus h. And xn, the last node that you will consider is slightly before b. It is b minus h. So you have equally spaced nodes. And if you were taking a and b as nodes, you would have two more nodes which are further still equally spaced. But you are not going to take those two end nodes. So we will actually label them as x minus 1 equal to a and x n plus 1 equal to b. So we will start with x minus 1 equal to a. Then we will have x naught which is x a plus h. And remember, h is now b minus a upon n plus 2. You have, instead of dividing it into n sub-intervals, you have had these two smaller, uh, two sub-intervals at each end which you are ignoring. So you have n plus 2 sub-intervals of equal length. And therefore, h is b minus a upon n plus 2. And we will start the integration from not the 0th node, but the 1st node. And we will not go all the way up to n plus 1th node, but up to nth node. This is the open Newton codes formulae. And uh, they are used within the open interval a, b. Those are the only nodes. And the formulae uh, would be that integral a to b fx dx is summation a i f i x, where once again, your a i is the integral a to b l i x. And once again, they read as follows. I think here uh, it's given correctly that the blue um, well, even here, I think they have made a mistake. So we will start with this x0. And we have gone all the way up to xn. And xn plus 1 is the one that is being left out. x minus 1 equal to a is also being left out. So it's quite clear that when you are using open Newton codes formally, you are actually going to miss out on some of these two vertical bars which contains some area and those are the ones which we are missing. So there will be error in the open course formula. And the error is given in the following way that, of course, there are again two cases. So when n is even, you have the error given in terms of the n plus 2th derivative, h to the power n plus 3 upon n plus 2 factorial integral now minus 1 to n plus 1. Earlier it was only from 0 to n. Now this integral is from minus 1 to n plus 1, so the error is larger. The integrand is still the same for the error, t square into t minus 1 all the way up to t minus n dt. And for the odd ones, we have the following one. One thing to remember always is that the error is always given by an even derivative. So you, it will be the error will be given by f double prime at xi or f fourth derivative at xi or f sixth derivative at xi and so on. So when you are looking at n equal to 2, it can only be third or fourth derivative. And if you remember that the error is always given by an even derivative, you know that it is going to be the fourth derivative. If you are looking at n equal to 3, it can be the fourth or fifth. But you, since you are looking at only even ones, it has to be the fourth derivative. So this is one way to remember uh, these error formula. And once again, we see that just as in the case of closed methods, even here the degree of precision is better for the even methods than for the odd ones. Okay, so some of the initial formulae with the error terms are as follows: n equal to zero. Because you will have x minus 1, then there is an x naught which is in between and x plus 1. Okay, so there is the midpoint rule which is 2h fx naught. This is rather a stupid formula because you are integrating from x minus 1 to uh, x1 and you are just looking at f of x naught, just a constant function. And you are multiplying by 2h which is really the length of the base point. So it's just the uh, rectangle that we, we are looking at the area of the rectangle. And so the error has to be there. Note that in the open formulae, the error is always plus something. Whereas in the closed formula, we saw that the error was always negative. So the closed formula were giving you something bigger and the open formulae are going to give you the answer which is going to be smaller. So open formulae will go from the lower side and the closed formulae are coming from the above side, the bigger side. Uh, okay, so this is the h cube by 3, the second derivative at xi, n equal to 
1 where you will now have x minus 1 then x0 x1 and x2 so this is 3h by 2 f of x0 plus f of x1 and you have again the second derivative already we see that for n equal to 0 and n equal to 1 the degree of precision is the same n equal to 2 it's now the fourth derivative so you have x minus 1 then x0 x1 x2 and x3 which is also going to be ignored so there are only three points that you have so n equal to 2 and the degree of precision has gone from 2 to the uh, from 1 to 3 because the error is given in terms of the fourth derivative at xi and n equal to 3 once again you have a symmetric expression inside and the error is once again given only in terms of the fourth derivative so these are the uh, initial uh, uh, formulae for the new open cases of newton codes formulae if we have to uh, compare these two the comparison is going to be something very interesting we have noticed that for the open ones you will always get the number to be smaller than the actual number whereas for the closed one it will always be the bigger one so what we do is that we compare these two formulae for one integral which is integral 0 to pi by 4 sin x dx which has to be 1 plus root 2 by 2 i'm sorry it is uh, 1 minus root 2 by 2 i i'm sorry it's giving you 1 equal to root 2 by 2 which is certainly not true this is 1 minus uh, root 2 by 2 and the answer is 0 0.292893281881 and uh, now we apply these closed and open formulae remember that there is no closed formula for x equal to n equal to 0 but there is an open formula and we see that it's coming from the uh, above side so we have to subtract something uh, the error has to be subtracted from the open one for the closed one n equal to 1 it's lower because the error will have to be added the actual formula yeah so the actual answer will be bigger than the closed ones and it will be always less than the open ones and n equal to 1 we are getting 2776 uh, or you may say 2777 if you are looking at uh, four digit uh, rounding method and uh, 3006 uh, for the open one so these are not good formulae at all but then we go one step ahead and we see that now for n equal to 1 which is the second for formula in the list of open formulae is slightly better than the first formula which was giving you 0 0.3006 even the second formula in the closed cases is also slightly be better than the first one and in fact it seems to be better than the first formula for the open one also right because remember for even cases the precision is better the error is given in terms of a very high derivative and the multiplication uh, for the h that's also uh, better the higher powers of those h so even this now once again the open formula for n equal to 2 which is now the third formula so ideally it should not be compared with n equal to 2 of the closed formula but with n equal to 3 of the closed formula that's where it should be compared so let's compare it with that and we see that already the third closed formula is better than the second open formula this is 29285 whereas it is 29289 so you have some formula problem there with the uh, 0 0.00004 whereas this is 29291 so instead of 89 you have 91 and this is 0 0.00002 the error is much better in the next case closed formula we will go one step further to compute the n equal to 3 open uh, formula which is again improving on the previous formula but not much already the n equal to 3 closed formula seems better and n equal to 3 closed n equal to 4 closed formula is even better because instead of uh, 318 instead of getting 321 we are getting just 318 so you have the correct formula for first um, five six digits whereas this is correct only for first four digits so this is how the open and closed formulae that's why we hear more about trapezoidal rule and simpson's one third rule simpson's three eighth rule and so on because closed formulae are better they are also looking at the endpoints a and b whereas the open formulae don't take these endpoints into consideration 
so this is uh, uh, one way to look at all these formulae but uh, of course there are more uh, computations when we go and take higher and higher n we have to take higher degree interpolating polynomials and we have already seen that getting a higher degree single polynomial is not a good idea but uh, dividing your interval into smaller sub intervals and applying these methods to each of the sub intervals is a better idea and that's where we came up with the idea of splines but uh, we are going to use now these methods in a composite way so what we are going to do is that we will divide our whole interval into a few parts and use the trapezoidal rule for each of them or use the simpson's rules to each of them so this is what we are going to do in our next lecture and uh, we will continue with that in uh, coming lecture and see you until then thank you and bye